Hey guys, what is up? Dave here back to you with a brand new video. I'm recording this at 1048 at night and I said I would have YouTube videos every Wednesday. I don't think I'm still going to be very good at this, but this is yet another Razer Phone 2 video because I like messing with this phone. I want to give a shout out to Marcos on XDA Developers for an awesome write-up on how to put GSI ROMs on your uh, Razer Phone 2. So something I got recently was the Android 13 beta. And it's been slightly modified, so it should work on any phone as a GSI image. So what I wanted to do today was try the GSI image on my spare Razer phone too, following these instructions. So I already do have a feeling it's not going to work but that's kind of the point of the video is I want to see if it will. I'm kind of thinking things only up to Android 11 are going to work on these phones just because of the way they are. Razer Phone 2s are very touchy. Um, I've had a lot of issues putting even ROMs that are compiled specifically for this device on here. And it just, something doesn't work. Something weird doesn't work. So... We're going to go through this. I already have this flashed on my device, 3201. I also already have the Trinity kernel downloaded and I already have the F2FS downloaded. So that should be everything we need. Now with that, as you can see, I have everything here. I have all my GSI images in here. I have the Pixel S beta for the Pixel 4a. I have 12L, which is for tablets. Um, doesn't really make sense to put it on a Pixel 4 or a Razer Phone 2, but then this is Android 13 Tiramisu. So we're going to see if this works. I wonder if my mic picked that up. That was louder than I thought it was going to be. If you didn't hear anything, then disregard this part. Also, I know weird resolution for my video. I can't really help it. Uh, my monitor is a strange resolution, and I didn't like how my last video came out where I had it stretched to 1080p because this is like 2560 by 1080 or something like that. So until my setup is actually officially done, you're going to have to deal with this weird resolution in one way or another. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So this tutorial is assuming that your bootloader is already unlocked which is very easy to do on these phones. It's also assuming you know how to install ADB, um, which I've gone over thousands of times. Um, I have it system-wide. You do want to make sure you have the full platform tools in this ADB folder on your system because if you are missing some things in here, some things won't work. So you need to make sure you have that. But with that, we will get started with the tutorial. So. First of all, you want to make sure that the device is recognized by your computer. And the best way to do that is, come on, plug it in, boot it up in bootloader mode. And why does this keep opening on my laptop screen? And do fast boot devices. If you see it like this, you're good. And you can start unlocking your bootloader and doing whatever you want to do. The next thing you're want to, going to want to do is uh, while in Fastboot, you want to flash the new system file. Now, this goes against a lot of these steps go against a lot of what I know when it comes to um, flashing GSI images because you're not doing anything with VB Meta and you're not doing anything with um, a couple other things. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out as I go. If it fails to boot, I have a backup plan of flashing Graphene OS because Graphene OS used to be supported by this phone and had a developer who would compile the ROM. None of the download links work. So if Android 13 doesn't work, I will put this back to stock, start over with these instructions, and we'll try Graphene OS GSI. So anyway, we're going to do fast boot flash system. And that is Android 13. We're going to see how many parts it is. It shouldn't be more than like five or six. But after this step, we do uh, fast boot flash boot, and then we do the Trinity kernel. So we're going to wait for this to finish. 
it generally takes a couple minutes, two or three minutes. Um, it's not that long, realistically. Two or three minutes if you're doing this via USB-C to USB-C. If you're doing this USB-A to USB-C, it's going to do smaller chunks. Um, as you can see here, the sparse chunk is 500 megabytes. It's going to do smaller chunks, um, possibly over USB-A to USB-C. So you're going to want to pay attention to... Um, pay attention, basically, just let it go. If you get something like system partition too small or something like that, you can delete logical partitions like, uh, I think it's called product. I'd have to relook at one of my old other tutorials to remember for sure, but I'm pretty sure you can delete the product partition and then that will expand the system partition in order to allow the installation of a GSI ROM, but no promises on that. So we're going to hope this works. Um, after this, we're going to flash that Trinity kernel, which is right here. And hopefully get it to boot to recovery. I have a feeling booting to recovery is not going to work. TWRP doesn't support Android 12, let alone Android 13. And it's going to try to decrypt the um, data partition. And it's going to fail, so it's probably going to freeze. But fast boot, flash boot, and let's get it. So sending boot. There we go. Now we need to follow the instructions after that. So do the same thing, drag and drop the boot image. Wait until it completes with no errors. After done, use the volume buttons to select reboot bootloader with your volume up down. I don't know why you would need to reboot the bootloader, but we're going to follow these instructions to a T. Oh, you're going to hear this thing connect and disconnect because my speakers crap. I have to have external speakers with this, uh, computer because this monitor does not have speakers built in. I muted them. So now we go to recovery mode. As you can see, it says go to recovery mode, and it's going to ask you if it boots successfully into TWRP, which, again, I don't think it's going to. Um, it will ask you if you want to allow modifications to the system partition, at which case you need to say, or you need to basically allow it. Um, just swipe right, and you can even select to never have it ask you that question ever again. But right now, it is basically frozen on the TWRP screen longer than it should be. So that already tells me that this is not going to work. So my backup plan is Lineage OS or to find out if Orange Fox is supported. Hold on. Let me see if somebody's ever compiled Orange Fox for this device. I paused it way too soon. So I was correct. Orange Fox has never been compiled for this device. So what we're going to do instead is try Lineage OS recovery. So I'm going to have to boot it back to bootloader, which is not a big deal, which just takes 10 or 15 seconds of holding volume down and power. Come on, slow ass. And I actually don't know if it connected because my speakers are turned off at the moment. So easy way to find out. I didn't think so. Shoot. The USB port on this Razer phone 2 is kind of crap. That's why it's my let me just play with it phone. I could replace it. I have broken Razer phones. But there's so many issues with the charge ports with these devices. It's kind of sad. I have quite a few of them that have been trying to figure out what the issue is. Wow, this is not connecting. Shoot. There we go. Now it connected. Right? Did it stay connected? Cool, it did. So fast boot, flash boot. And we're gonna do lineage 18.1 recovery. So that flashes and that's fine. So let's start the steps where we left off. So we need to we 
we need to reboot to recovery. There we go. I'm just going to leave my speakers on. You guys can barely hear it anyway. So the first thing you're going to want to do is format data. Not unheard of. Kind of understand why. Um, format factory data reset. Format data. All good. And then they go back. You want to do apply update. Apply from ADB because that's the only way with lineage recovery. We do ADB sideload F2FS. Why does it not see it? Let me reboot. Reboot to recovery. Please. Please. Maybe I should use my other Razor phone too. There we go. Apply, update, apply from ADB. Weird. Why do you not see me, ADB devices? Hmm. Let's unplug replug here. I'm going to play with it for a minute. Please. Well, you know what to do, so I'm going to pause it until I can get this to connect. When all else fails, just try a different cable. There it goes. So it's going to ask me in Lineage if I want to allow it. Yes. Hmm, it said failed to write message stat. We're going to try again. There it goes. Finished. And now we install, we scroll, find the zip, flash it, we go to the reboot, we reboot recovery again. Advanced, reboot to recovery. And we need to format data again to make it F2FS. And we're going to hope this works. I doubt it's going to boot. Honestly, if it didn't boot with TWRP, it's not going to boot with this. Factory reset, wipe format and data, format data. And then shut it off. It's trying to turn back on. I think it's going into charge mode. We'll find out. If that works, then it might turn on. Ooh, that's my thumb. Oh, it's rebooting for some reason. USB device not recon... Screen flashed. Uh-oh. Yeah, screen's just flashing. Hmm. Hmm. The children are home. <laughs> yes, I'm also calling my girlfriend a child, which is a little creepy because we have children. Anyway, I'm going to volume down power to let it try to reboot. My idea from here is if it doesn't boot with... Um, whatchamacallit then I'm going to, with lineage recovery, if it doesn't boot that way, I'm going to then reflash Trinity kernel. If that doesn't work, then I will go to Graphene OS. So I'm gonna see if this boots. I will be back in like five minutes. Well, we're gonna try reflashing Trinity kernel because this didn't work. It's just sitting at the Razer logo. So I'm going to reboot to... whatchamacallit? Bootloader. 
and we're going to flash Trinity. Because I already did the F2FS stuff and all that, so we might be able to fix it by flashing Trinity. And then I'll wait another five minutes and see if it boots. I can't wait until I have a camera set up so you can actually see what I'm doing. Right now you just get to stare at my desktop. I mean, at least it's a pretty car. If you insult my car, I'm blocking you from commenting on my, fa my videos. That is your warning. All right, I'm powering it off, and then I'm going to try to power it on with the power button, because that's what people say to do. There we go. Bootloader is unlocked. All right, we're going to see if it tries to boot. I have doubts. I bet you it's just going to sit here for another 5, 10 minutes forever at the Razer logo and never boot. So I'm going to give it a fair chance. Let it sit for a minute because sometimes it does take a minute for it to boot. So I'll be back in a few minutes after I browse car gurus because I want to buy a new car. Yeah, this is not going to boot. So we're going to go to Graphene OS. So I'm going to reboot to bootloader again. And then we're just going to flash Graphene because Android 11 should work no matter what. I've never tried to go backwards to an Android 8.1 from an Android 9 device. But we're going to do Graphene. So again, fast boot, flash, system. And we'll let that flash. I'll come back when it's done. All right, Graphene is done flashing. So we are going to power off. And then I'm going to power on by power button. Because again, that's what the instructions say to do. And we're going to see if this boots in the Graphene OS. If it doesn't, then I'm going to try the VB metadata and disable... Uh, yeah, I didn't expect that to work. So all in all, I say again, the Razer Phone 2 is stupid to try to flash ROMs too. Yeah, this uh, this didn't work. So if you want more videos where I try to flash ROMs to devices that are really old, that shouldn't take this version of Android, like for example, the Razer Phone 2 ended at official support at Android 9, let me know in the comments down below. I can do essential phones, I can do Sony phones, I can do LGs, I can do weird stuff like Yumi Digis, I can do, uh, I have a Palm Mini with a battery problem, so I have no pro no uh, worries messing with that thing and flashing stuff to it. Um, I had an FRP bypass video I recorded for that, and I lost the recording. It was a very interesting bypass, it was very cool. Anyway, talk to you guys later. I'm going to try to flash this back to stock, but even flashing it to stock, this thing is just terrible. So I'm going to try flashing it real quick. Because it seems like this USB cable is definitely more... This one works better. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This thing is a brick, and if there's an update to me getting something to work, I will let you know. Peace out.